Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I welcome you all in this video. Today we are going to learn about sensitivity and specificity calculation. So the sensitivity of a test, as its name indicates, is the ability of a test to identify positive or diseased individuals. And the specificity means the percentage value that the test has to identify negative or non-diseased individuals in a cohort. So for uh, let's say there are two colors which are being characterized over here the true positive indication green and there is a red color which says the person stands negative and so we are differentiating between uh, the persons who have a disease with the disease and the persons who don't have a disease right persons with disease and person don't have a disease but there are two intermediate colors orange and light green so not only every test has the ability to identify the true positives but it sometimes sometimes it wrongly accused some negative patients as positive as well so we call them as false negative and over here the samples on the patient is actually negative but it is declared as positive based on a test so it is called as false positive for sensitivity estimation we simply say that we divide true positive individuals which are labeled as A over here by the number of positive total positives declared by the test okay number of total positive declared by the test so based on this A plus C values they are called as sensitivity values and for specificity we say truly negative individuals divided by the uh, based on divided by false positive but they were called as wrongly positive and then the total negative true negatives again the true negative so b plus d is the denominator for specificity a plus c is the denominator for sensitivity this ex and further example will elaborate the story more clearly assume in a population of 500 individuals individuals uh, we say that there are 50 who have a disease and 40 who don't have a disease now we are trying to test a new test has been developed and we try to identify those 50 individuals those 50 individuals in this 500 individuals proportion so we make a binary table again over here we say that based on our test based on our test in question we truly identified 40 individuals and the same test says the 10 individuals are also positive so it, based on its estimation we say that there are 50 individuals being identified were positive and the sample of roughly around 400 individuals were identified as truly negative they don't contain any disease but it also accused 50 individuals over here else falsely positive so for sensitivity estimation so for sensitivity estimation as the formula says we just divide the true positive the true positive over here a is equal to 40 divided by the number of all positives declared by the test now these 40 are being divided as have the disease in fact our test also says that these 10 individuals which were actually negative which were actually negative they don't contain a disease were uh, what you can say they were or they were also been identified as positive so the total is 40 plus 10 is equal to 50 so this is the sensitivity value which would be uh, if we calculate it it's 0.8 so if we change it into percentage the value will be 80 percent so uh, we can uh, calculate it as like 40 divided by 50 80 percent so the sensitivity of the test in question is 80 percent out of 100 individuals this test will identify 80 individuals correctly correctly declare this correctly identify 80 individuals correctly identify correct uh, out of 100 Okay. now for specificity for specificity the story is for the truly negative samples for true negative samples how many samples have been identified over here 
let's say A, B, C, and D. So the two negative samples are 400. And the samples which were declared as negative, but they were not actually negative. So it's a uh, summation of B and D for 50. Where did 450 comes from? 400 plus 50 over here, D plus D. So the value is roughly around 0.8%. Uh, so uh, we can assume it as um, like uh, 400 divided by 450 into, if we multiply it with 100, we are getting a percentage of roughly 89%. Okay, so the sensitivity of a screening test to identify an individual is 89%. The test will always identify 89 individuals negative for out of 100 individuals. So if we give, give 100 individuals who are standing uh, who are do, doesn't have a disease the test in question have a capacity to identify 89 individuals correctly out of those 100 individuals so 89 percent means out of every 100 individuals who don't have a disease the test specificity me 89 individuals will be correctly identified as negative okay Hope you understand this phenomena. It's pretty straightforward. Thank you very much for your time and attention.